what sport? And it's even Vegas stop and stare. Sure, we have passing and curveballs and even the odd dive. But for us, the back of the net is no place to be. Hello and welcome to Silverstone, home of the British Grand Prix. Me and Stephen are here for the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, to watch the Grand Prix and I'm going to take you along our experience with you. We arrived on Thursday evening. It's about a three hour drive from home. We stopped off at a supermarket on the way to buy our food supplies. I love that they had flags up. It was a Tesco just outside Silverstone and so they were obviously getting in the spirit of things. We are in the van. We are camping at West End Paddocks which is about a 15 minute walk away from the track. Thursday evening we just relaxed, we had a barbecue and an early night to get ready for today, Friday. As gates open really early, they open at 7am on Friday and Saturday and then 6am on race day, Sunday. We decided to leave the campsite about half seven this morning so that we could get here nice and early, have a little wander around the outside of the track, see what's here, figure out where we want to sit for the races and different practice sessions and things that are going on over the weekend. We've got grandstand tickets, Hamilton Straight B, row R seats 8 and 9 to be precise, for Sunday. But for the other days, you're able to go in any grandstand. If you have a grandstand ticket, you can just get a general admission, which means you just kind of sit on the grass and things around. But if you have a grandstand ticket, you're able to go into any of the grandstands to watch the Formula 2 and 3 races and the F1 practices and qualifying. And so we really wanted to try out some of the different stands to see the action from different places. We wanted to kind of figure out where we wanted to be for the next couple of days. There is a main stage area that uh, drivers are going to do interviews on over the weekend and there'll be music and other stuff on the stage and I want to see the driver interview so we're heading over there for a practice session start. <laughs> It's, uh, it's normal in Finland. <laughs> Gentlemen, move your hands together for Fernando Alonso. And yeah, it's sunny today. It may rain tomorrow and Sunday, so the weather will be uh, yeah, British weather. <laughs> Thanks very much. This is uh, probably the most special race of the of the calendar. Thanks to you guys because here, uh, yeah, here is uh, it's a one of, um, you know we have this uh, respect uh, for the sport, respect for all the drivers. As together for CEO of McLaren, it's Zach Brown. Hey, uh, it's a must attend. I mean, look at all the. Awesome fans here early on Friday. Lots of papaya, lots of Lando and Oscar, which is great to see. Lando's uh, a great team leader, and uh, we're all working hard with all the changes we made over the winter, and it uh, looks like it's starting to work now. Today there are two practice sessions for F1 and loads of other stuff going on on track, including some F2 and F3 stuff, and our plan is to watch the first practice session for F1 from Abbey Stand and then watch the second from Cops Corner. It's a really fast corner and Stephen quite fancy is watching it from there. Stephen's friend is also here actually and he's trying to get in touch with him so we can meet up but the signal here is absolutely just terrible. <laughs>
Day one, Friday, almost complete. We were back at the campsite. We'd had tea and everything, and we, I think we were sort of getting into bed. And all of a sudden, we heard a plane go past, and we peered out of the van, and it was the RAF Red Arrows, the Falcons, the parachute display team that had jumped out of the plane and were doing this display of parachuting down. It was absolutely amazing. Like we were so close to the. Uh, to the main stage to Silverstone and the campsite so we could hear everything that was going on which sometimes at like 11 o'clock at night when I was trying to get to sleep was a bit of a pain but for this it was amazing it's a nice little treat to end the evening with day two Saturday there's practice three today for F1 and this afternoon is qualifying which is getting exciting there's also a few F2 and F3 races in between that we are going to watch but before we do that, we're going to head over to the main stage to see what driver interviews are happening this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Ferrari drivers Charles Leclerc and Carlos is on his way as well. <laughs> I'm actually alone. Carlos is late. Oh, uh, he oh, woke up. Alone. He woke up uh, too late. Well, we are but he, he's, he's gonna join us. Well, we are delighted to have you. Thank you. Uh, we like to be on time in England, and here's Carlos. Oh, here he is. Hi. Good morning. Hello, mate. You okay, let's yeah. go up to the front as much as we well. can. We'll come up to the front, guys. Uh, we would go down here, but there's a you know a little bit of a risk. Are you okay for it? No. Yeah, fine. Yeah, you're okay to go down? I am. Okay, let's go. It's okay. <laughs> All right, so let's start with last year, Carlos. A win on this track. Wow, it's, it's very friendly territory for you. How is it to come back at a track you've had such success at? And where is the trophy? Uh, the trophy hasn't arrived yet uh, <laughs> because I made a replica of the gold one that is the big one and super cool one that is the British, British Grand Prix one that is I think the most special but um, I mean great memories uh, this uh, place I love coming to a place that feels a bit like a second home after living here or nearby in, in, in walking for a couple of years so yeah uh, English breakfast I love uh, Baked beans, porridge, <laughs> uh, what else? Um, golf, a lot of golf, if the weather allows. I follow the diet much more than he does, so I, I don't do the English breakfast, but uh, I love London in general. I love uh, spending time in London, I'll be there on Monday, I'll go to see Wimbledon, that is one of, uh, uh, well I mean it's an incredible event, so I'll, I'll go there. Fantastic, uh, which brand of uh, baked beans? <laughs> Carlos Heinz. <laughs> I, there were memes out there of me when I when I bake beans can. I'm so bad at dancing. It's crazy. No, I, I've really never seen you dance. You have a good flow. Sorry. Yeah, actually, I think you dance pretty good. Have you seen that Bahrain video before the start? Yes. Well, oh. yeah. <laughs> blossoming and he's got a what did you make of this when he when he posted that she commented that about time <laughs> well it's about time for him too no no <laughs> but no it's it's typical London. now before we wrap up under the rain guys a word for the fans stage is yours well, thank you so much for your continuous support. As we were saying earlier, sometimes we have better days, sometimes we have worse days, but you're always here supporting us, and this means a lot uh, to us. And uh, we'll keep pushing, and hopefully we'll have an incredible weekend here uh, with uh, your support. Thanks again.
Red Bull is a team that goes to the limit every single lap, every single weekend. And when you were a child and you were karting and starting your career, did you have any records or numbers that you were chasing? Was it originally just the thrill of competing? Well, it was always a target, you know, to make it into Formula One. People really forget how difficult it is to make it to the sport, you know, and uh, especially as a Mexican. And thanks for being here, all of you. Well, that was a surprise. That was nice. The Ferrari drivers coming out. We are now going to head. We decided to go to Club Corner now for the practice sessions, and then later on, we're going to try Beckett's for qualifying. There are a couple of surprise teams, a couple of surprise drivers that I think are very, very. Hello, Hello. 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 Hello.
Just as he comes, that now goes out and through. So, Paul and Joe Potter go for it. Yes, you can. I mean, it's great for McLaren as well to be here and yeah, on our side. I'm uh, very happy, of course, to, to be involved. I mean, if you look at the, just look at the numbers and the position that you finished in qualifying, you want to say, well, that was expected. But it, this whole session, Q1, Q2, Q3, it looked so close between everyone. It was really mixed out there. How, how difficult was it? Yeah, especially like Q1, Q2, you know, there were still a few damn spots, so you had to be a little bit careful. Of course, you push close to the limit, but Knowing that we have a quick car, you don't need to go to the, you know, ex So uh, pretty insane. Um, my last lap was a good lap. So um, yeah, it was, uh, it was. I could hear Zach on the radio on the in lap, which is the best thing ever. But um, they're all behind us right now. I mean, a great, great for I guess myself, but also for for both of us to be second and third was pretty, uh, pretty amazing for the whole team. Especially here, the new livery um, uh, home race for, for the team, for myself. We couldn't have had a better result today, apart from Max, again, who ruins everything. But uh, yeah, the rest was pretty amazing, so um, big thanks to everyone. Enjoy it. Cheers. Wow, look at you all. I can't tell you how stunning you all look from here and how thrilled the drivers are going to be to stand in front of you, you fans at Silverstone. Hello, good afternoon. My name is Amy Barclay and I will be bringing the drivers on stage for you. F1 team is Kevin Magnussen and Nico Hockenberg. amazing it's great this is not just a race you know it's an event it's got this festival atmosphere and character um, and uh, yeah the people make it special so thank you very much I had to stop with a problem on track and qualifying but it is what it is and I love I love this race I love you know this track <laughs> do a what I don't, I don't know what it is. Okay. Sexy Viking. You're a sexy Viking. Sexy Viking. <laughs> That's a new catchphrase of the weekend. And speaking of catchphrases, Gunther is known for coming out with many. Have you got a favorite one from him? <laughs> don't fuck smash my door. <laughs> That's the, I don't know, it's just great pair of words. Fuck smash door. <laughs> it's good. 
No, just thanks, man. It's a, it's a pleasure, and I hope uh, we can put on a good show for you guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you This is insane. Thank you guys. You know, I like to ask the drivers what they most like most about this track, and it must be this. This is, uh, I feel like I'm in Glastonbury. Uh, actually, um, where were we? We're in last, last, week, last week we were in Austria, and I actually tried to get Logan to do a karaoke song. <laughs> uh, and I tried as hard as I can, but I think, I think we should get Logan it's not gonna to... <laughs> so, oh yeah, Logan, do you want to serenade the fans? <laughs> <laughs> he's going to kill me. I, I, I think he's going to do this until the end of the year now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anytime there's a crowd, it's not going to stop. What was it? Um... I saw in Twitter everyone was uh, singing for me. Uh, I love the songs. Was it Oh you kids and Oh wow! Unbelievable! That's incredible. That's awesome. I've never seen so many people. This is the best person to come to. Thank you so much. It's unforgettable here at Silverstone. I think it's it's probably the place with the the widest crowd. I mean, like look over there, like it's it's just it's endless this crowd. Um, so no, it's always very special. You know, when we get on the track, we're so focused. We see the grandstands are full, but uh, it's really when we get on stage and we see all of you guys, it's a uh, it's just unbelievable feeling and never get old. So thanks for for making it happen. Yeah, it's truly the home of motorsport in the UK, and uh, yeah, we're so happy, so happy to be here. So good to see everybody. Every year I come here, it's more and more, and um, speechless, speechless. Uh, George, this is your home race. The crowd is certainly behind you. Why is this so important to you to be racing at Silverstone? You guys are why it's so important to be racing at Silverstone. This is, I mean, obviously I'm biased, but this is the best atmosphere by far of all of the races we go to. You know, I think Lando and Piastri will be unknown. You know, they did a really great job and um, I'm happy for them today. Tomorrow's a different story, so uh, we'll, be, we'll be gunning them down. Red Bull are in a league of their own at the moment, but it's, um, you know, we want to try and win races this season, but we, more than anything, want to make sure we've got a car to win champion, fight for championships next year. So it's, you know, focus on the end of the season with half an eye on next year. And as I said, we, we're pushing like crazy. I can promise you that to, uh, to, to get us back to the front. And, you know, Lewis and I are just working so hard and pushing one another. And it's, it's exciting as, as much as I want to be out there winning every single time. You know, this journey is quite, uh, quite special to be on with the team.
I mean, there's too, there's too many great places here. Everywhere is a really good spot to say. So um, this is a cool spot. You've got Mangotts and Beckett's, it's a cool spot. I think if you've got the chance, go to Mangotts and Beckett's or Cops because to see the speed of, um, if you're fans of Mangotts and Beckett's over here, um, if you see the speed of the Formula One cars, how agile they are through the high speed corners, it's truly something special. But um, anywhere here, it's still sounds good. George, we've loved having you out here on stage and in front of all the fans. So, final message to you. Too. Firstly, I want to get a, a good video with, with all of you, so let's give some big cheers. I think I've seen here, but I feel quite emotional seeing all you guys because we've had we've had a, a difficult past year and a half, and um, you know today we're you know with sixth and seventh, uh, yeah sixth and seventh, not where we want to be, and it's been a really difficult uh, like past hour. But you guys have just lifted my spirits. I'm, I'm now I know you guys are here tomorrow at the push. Love you too. We love you, Lauren! It makes you reflect on how far you've come. What would you tell the younger version of yourself now? Jeez, uh, I don't know what I'll tell the younger version of myself. Um, Jeez, that was, that was Kim Bolton in 1996, I think. So it was a long, long time ago, but Little did I know, I didn't know then that I was going to be here in front of all of you. I dreamed of being here one day fighting for world championships and, and representing the country in the best way I could. And um, that's why the color's already on my suit. Now, Lewis, you've won here so many times, they've even named a part of the track after you. How is your approach to Silverstone? What can you tell us about the particularities about this track? The approach to this weekend is is you, everything's heightened. You're in the factory for more days. You're you're focusing more. I think this one's just the most important one for us in the team because the team's just only half an hour away. Love you too, buddy. Um, and um, fans out there. Yes. McLaren, uh, McLaren signed me when I was 13, so I'm so happy to see them. You've had such a difficult time to see them back up there is great. Um, you know, but. Uh, we plan to overtake you tomorrow somehow, but you know, like, it's okay. <laughs> no, you guys, I, I really hope that they do a great job tomorrow. And can you take us back to the story of your first win here? Uh, the rain in 2008, yeah. Yeah, oh uh, well, look, we got, we have like, what's a bridge over here? And this is Priory, the old Priory corner here, I think, a bridge. I, remember, I just always remember coming through Abbey, the chicane, and everyone was spinning off. And I remember when I made it through, I could see the crowd stand up at the end. So um, and I knew I was doing okay. But that was, for me, one of the most magical races I've ever done. So, love you too, buddy. <laughs> I don't really care who you support, but just you being here, you... You are the reason this sport is as great as it is. So thank you so much for bringing the energy. I hope you enjoy your weekend. Tomorrow we're gonna hopefully give you a good race. So thank you so much for the support. Love you guys, thank you. See you tomorrow.